Wow, okay, so what a crazy time this has been at the moment. I just thought I'd uh, do a little bit of a video for you just to update you on what the uh, government have announced in terms of the exam grades and how that is going to go uh, moving forward and what you can expect in terms of your exam grades uh, on the screen. And again, I'll link this uh, article in the description. Uh, but this is the latest article that's been put out, obviously saying what's going to happen with students' exam grades. Okay, so just having a look at what they've said so far, it says that Ofqual. Uh, and the exam boards are going to work with teachers to provide grades to students whose exams have been cancelled this summer. Okay, obviously not in order to slow the spread of what's been going on at the moment. It says that university representatives have confirmed that they expect universities to be flexible and they can do all they can to support these students. Okay, so for those students in year 13, um, they are saying that universities are going to be flexible and they are going to help, uh, obviously, with the arrangements with these exam grades that you're going to receive. Uh, it also says that the summer exam series, so the A-levels, the GCSEs um, and all of the primary assessments of well are all going to be cancelled um, and that's for certain. Um, they're not going to be postponed or anything like that. They are they are going to be cancelled and it says uh, obviously here next that the government's priority is to ensure that all these affected students are able to move on as planned onto the next stage of their lives, including going into employment, starting university, college or sixth forms or an apprenticeship this autumn. And uh, they've said here that this means that ensuring that these students here are awarded a grade which fairly re reflects the work in which they've put in and they'll also be able to sit an exam uh, early in the next ap academic year for students who wish to. I guess what, if, what they mean by that, what they're saying is that obviously your teachers, your schools are going to work in order to put forward um, the predicted grades for you uh, that they think is fair. Obviously this will be based on sort of your working at grades, how you've been working in school, your mock results uh, and all of that collated together with your target grades and obviously making sure that you do get a fair grade and a fair reflection uh, where your students will think you sort of a uh, it's a very difficult decision actually uh, it's going to be a lot of hard work for a lot of teachers so yeah there's a lot there's a lot to have to, have to think about there as a teacher in terms of those grades uh, sort of going forward for students but that is the plan as it stands at the moment your teachers are going to be working to make sure that you get the fair grades they have said obviously here though that there are going to be exams at the start of the academic year so students I guess that maybe you know haven't really performed in the later stage of the year or are a little bit worried about the fact that they might be not be getting the best grade or a grade that they could potentially have achieved if they are allowed to go ahead with these exams you will have an opportunity at the start of next year to do any of those exams should you wish to wish to and that's what I sort of um, get from that little bit of a statement there so Ofqual will develop and set out a process that will be provided and calculated grade for each student which reflects their performance and we will work with examples to ensure that it is consistently applied for all students. Okay, so they are going to make sure this is fair in between schools and that all those grades that are getting put in are fair for you. Uh, so it doesn't look like anybody's going to um, obviously be losing out or potentially getting grades much higher than they you know, might have done had they have actually been able to sit the exam. So it says here the exam boards are going to be asking teachers who know their students well to submit their judgment about the grade they believe and the student would have received if exam boards have gone ahead. So it is all down to the teachers at the moment to make sure that all these grades are put in fairly uh, for yourselves. So that looks, that looks like what's going to happen then. Um, so just a bit of an update on all of that. Let's just have a look if anything else down here it also says... Teachers are going to have to take into account a range of evidence of data, including performance on mock results and non-exam assessment. Clear guidance on how to do this will be provided to schools uh, and the exam boards are then going to combine this information with other relevant data, including prior attainment, and use this to produce a calculated grade for each student, which will be a best assessment of the work they have put in. Ofqual and exam boards will be discussing with teachers, representatives before finalising an approach to ensure this is as fair as possible. More information will be provided as soon as possible. Okay, there we go. They have also said obviously cancelling exams is something they would never want to do, but obviously during extraordinary times, uh, it's a vital and unprecedented step uh, in the country's efforts to stop the spread of this. So, there we go. Um, that is what's going to happen. Um, I think what's quite nice to see there is that they are going to allow students to take an exam um, at the start of next year should they wish to. Um, but obviously, I appreciate that a lot of students are worrying right now. It's not, you know, it's very uncertain times. A lot of people have messaged through saying that they're really upset about the fact that they're not going to be able to show off during the uh, during the exam periods. And obviously, some of you have been working extremely hard, uh, and maybe some of you didn't perform in the mocks and have been working it really hard since then. All I can say really is that that won't go unnoticed. Um, you know, your teachers will have seen you working hard. They will have seen the work that you've been putting in. And they will be making fair um, 
assessments for your grades for you. Okay, so just a bit of an update really, making sure that you know exactly what's going on. Obviously schools are closed now, uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be open um, until the next academic year, so it does look like we're going to be away from school now for the next five five months, okay, unless obviously um, for whatever reason you may be in school. Um, but there we go, that looks like what's going on. So obviously those of you that are thinking about still going ahead with your revision, you know, um, in order to be retaking some exams at the start of next year, maybe you're in year 10 or nine or another year group uh, and you're thinking about obviously the fact that you're gonna be missing quite a lot of school. Obviously, um, I just thought I'd give you a bit of a channel update, see where we're at, see what we've got left to do uh, and a few little plans that you could go ahead with moving forward. Okay, but there's the update, that's what's going on. Um, I'm not going to give any personal opinions on any of this. Um, just wanted to give you, you know, an update so that you knew exactly what was going to happen and how your exam grades were going to be figured out. Okay, but let's have a look at the channel. Okay, so in terms of videos left to do, okay, I just wanted to give you an update on what I've done so far, what I've still got left to finish. Um, obviously, this is the checklist, um, which again I'll link below in the description. Um, but in terms of what there is left to do, let's have a look. Now there's lots of different colour coding on here now, so a lot of these are ticked off now, so a lot of them are finished. The few that I've highlighted in yellow are ones that I've not yet visited at all. So over in number there we've got estimations and percentages of an amount. In algebra, there's some forming and solving equations and solving quadratic equations left to do as well. And the ones in orange down there are ones that I have done videos on but I still like to sort of uh, maybe do an extra, extra video on something. Okay, so we've got some function calculations and some algebraic fractions still left to do a little bit of work on. Um, but pretty much there, they're pretty much finished. Um, but then on to the ones below, let's have a look. We've finished nearly in statistics. I haven't actually highlighted those yet, so I'm just going to highlight some of them. We've still got some averages to look at. We've still got some scatter graphs to have a look at. Let's have a look. There's still pie charts, interquartile range, uh, and let's have a look at averages from a stem and leaf as well. So we've still got a bit of that to have a look at. Again, discuss. Uh, over into ratio and proportion, we've got some conversion graphs to have a look at and also some pressure force area. But I've highlighted mass density volume as well because I have looked at the mass density volume mixtures, but I haven't looked at any mass density volume. We've actually got to work out the volume of a shape. So we've got a little bit more work to do on that as well. Into the geometry section. Uh, in fact, I've just realised, I think I might have skipped past the section above. There is the trigonometry section up there, which is completely finished now. So there's no more trigonometry. That's all finished in the trigonometry playlist. And I've just noticed that obviously the probability one's finished there as well. Just reminded me that I missed that one above. But there you go, probability's finished. It's mainly geometry now where there's quite a lot of work to be done. So I've got in yellow, let's have a look. So yellow is obviously the ones that I've not visited yet. So triangles and quadrilaterals and some area of 2D shapes. So we're going to have a look at trapeziums and things like that. We've also got area and circumference of circles, so I have done circle sectors and circle sectors of trigonometry, but obviously just basic area and circumference of circles I've not yet looked at. Now construction and loci I've got in green because that is the one video out of all of these that I'm going to have to do uh, actually recording that with a camera rather than just on the screen. So I'm still figuring out the best way of going about doing that, but that one will be done at some point soon in the future. But then we've got some surface area of 3D shapes, cylinders, cones and spheres. Um, and then we've got congruent triangles and geometric proof down there that needs visiting. But I have done some volume of 3D shapes. I did frustums quite recently, but we're going to be having a look at some of the other 3D shapes as well, looking at some cuboids and some um, some prisms with different uh, cross-section faces. And then we've also got some transformations there to do, but I have also already done enlargements and negative enlargements. So we've just got reflections, rotations, and translations left to have a look at. Okay, so a little bit of an update in terms of what's going to be done. Uh, obviously there's going to be a few more coming up today, there's going to be a few coming out tomorrow. Um, they're just going to be coming out every day to be honest at the moment. But the, pri the primary thing here is that pre the amount of content here which is now ready for you to be working on. Uh, I'm just going to show you where you can go about finding them. So just in terms of uh, focusing on one area here, as trigonometry is finished, let's have a look at trigonometry and just think about, you know, if, you have, if you've got this list in front of you and you're thinking about, okay, right, I'm going to pick out a few topics to start revising, I'm going to work on trigonometry, how do you go about actually doing that? So there we go, trigonometry, we've got Pythagoras, 3D Pythagoras, Sokotoa, sine cosine, 3D trig, area of a triangle, exact trig, trig graphs and trig proof. So let's have a look at where we'd find them on the channel then. Okay, so when you get onto the channel, obviously you can go into the playlist tab at the top. Now, if you go into the playlist and start scrolling through, we will eventually get to a playlist that says trigonometry, and there it is, Pythagoras and trigonometry. So if you go into that playlist, 
all of those videos are here. Now I, I am trying to make sure that they're all in order along with, in fact we don't need that one, we can remove that one. Okay, we need these in order. So I have tried to make them as best in order as I can. So we've got Pythagoras there at the top. We then have Sokotoa on the list. Okay, so this is one of my jobs still to do, just to go through and make sure these are all in order. And then we had some sine and cosine. Okay, and these are all here, they're all in order now uh, and ready for you to get going. There was some 3D trigonometry there, look, moving up. Uh, and all of the rest of these. Okay, so there's so many, so many videos in here. And also you do have uh, this all of trigonometry in 20 minutes at the top that just gives a brief overview of what type of questions are within each of those. So if you're not sure on what the, some of the topic names are, you can always watch that video there. I go through all of these little topics and then you can just pick out specifically which ones you're not sure on. You can spend some more time going into more depth on those topics. But they're all here. They all match up to uh, the sheet that I just showed you, the checklist, so you can always go into that checklist and find some of these topics, okay, and again the link for that is in the description, but I just wanted to show you obviously how you can go about your revision over the next few months, you know, particularly for those of you uh, in year 10 that are going to miss out on a big chunk of your learning now uh, with school closures, uh, but also for those of you in year 11 that are going to be thinking about retaking um, you know any of these exams if you think that you're not potentially might not be happy with your grade once you get it you know and obviously there are some quite a lot of students in year 11 that are thinking about doing maths a level so a lot of these videos are going to be very helpful for you to make sure that you're not missing out on your maths obviously ready for in pre 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 uh, preparation for next year um but there we go that is the sort of plan uh, one thing i am also going to be starting to do is i'm going to start doing core one so some a level maths so i'm going to start putting some of those videos up i'm hoping to do one today but we'll see how it goes they're definitely going to be out very soon i'm going to start going through some of the core one maths as well um just to sort of start getting people you know that, that option to start getting ahead obviously with missing a lot of this stuff you may stop want, want to start getting ahead of the game a little bit uh, in preparation for next year but there we go, that is a little bit of an update. Uh, obviously the big news here uh, we've already looked at, and let's just go back to that. And it was all this article here really on you know what the plans are moving forward. And this has literally just been released in the past, I think it was in the past half an hour here. Look, it was uh, released on the 20th. It's the 20th today, so this is literally the latest news. So if you wanna have a bit of a better read of this, obviously I've uh, sort of skimmed past it and read out little bits, then feel free, because I will link that in the description below so that you can actually have a read about this. But all of the information is there, so do have a good read of it and sort of digest some of that. And hopefully you're not panicking too much. Um, you know, it is a, it's obviously a huge shame that you're gonna miss out on your exams and you're not gonna have a chance to show off. But, you know, don't obviously let this uh, feel like a couple of people that have contacted me have said that they feel like they've just wasted the past five years. And obviously, please don't feel like that because, you know, you, haven't, you certainly haven't wasted any time at all. If you think about where you've come from in year seven, and, without through your sort of maths journey um, and how much hard work you've done. You know, there's a huge amount of stuff that you'll have learnt from that, um, you know, and the, the GCSEs are not the, the be all and end all of your learning and your future. And obviously they are very important. Um, but what I mean by that is, you know, you, there's a huge amount of content that you've learnt uh, and, that, and, that and that will not be wasted. And obviously that's gonna help you with the progress, uh, progression onto the next steps now uh, as you move forward. and. And all of that hard work that you've put in is going to be, you know, taken into account for these GCSEs. So hopefully you're not worrying too much. Hopefully this is a nice little update will, you know, provide you with a little bit of clarity. Um, but there we go. I've tried not to provide too much of my own opinion on it because, you know, it's it's a difficult time for everybody. But there you go. There's a bit of an update for the channel. There's a bit of an update on what's coming up next. Uh, and hopefully that's, a bit, you know, maybe something that's a little bit helpful just to sort of ease you in terms of you know what's what's actually going on here but there we go obviously hope everyone's okay hope everybody no no you know everybody's not too upset about all of this and you know just try and kick back and relax a little bit you know if you are thinking about any of this revision then obviously do try your best to obviously keep on working and keep on educating yourself but there we go uh, i will uh just leave it there and i'll see you for the next video